Hey, yo, what's good, people? Yesterday, Yamcha was finally revealed, officially revealed. Sell Saga Yamcha. Because we've definitely had Saiyan Saga Yamcha. Now, I'm going to swipe through the pictures so y'all can see what's up. If you have guys haven't seen it already, but this is going to be a discussion video slash news video. And there's a couple things I want to talk about. That I definitely want to talk about. It's a shame. I feel like it should be some blood on that hand or something. Blood on the gi somewhere. Not just the hand going through like he's full of air. But either way, just to give you the details, SH Figure Arts Yamcha, Earth Foremost Fighter. March 2024 release. Uh, MRRP price. Or, well, that's redundant because the P stands for price. 7,250 yen. Pre orders available from June 16th. Now, this figure reveal is very interesting because when I first saw it, I was swiping through the pictures, right? And I already, I, I, I think I mentioned this in the last discussion video that I did that involved Yamcha at least. And I mentioned that he'd probably be a premium Bandai exclusive. Now, when you first see him, you know, he's swiping through the pictures and everything. And you're like, all right, all right. It's on the 2.0 mold, by the way, which was disappointing. But I was like, all right, whatever. And then I was like, all right, since he's on a 2.0 mold, maybe they won't have him be a premium Bandai exclusive. But it's something I neglected to uh, think or not think, but consider. And that's this. One thing we can say for sure as a pattern for premium Bandai exclusives. And actually, before I continue, let's go to the site. So we are on the site. And of course, we got Yamcha. Once again, we're gonna go through the pictures, see if oh, we got a couple. We had a couple of vanilla poses in the beginning. A little bit of different stuff. Not it's a bit, a little bit more you see in here on the site. My point that I wanted to make about this is one thing we can always say that's gonna confirm or help us to predict pre premium Bandai exclusives in the future is how can Tamashi include an accessory for another figure in there. If that figure can come with another for accessory, if it can come with an accessory for another figure, we can pretty much guarantee that it's going to be a premium Bandai exclusive. And I'm going to use that method to make some predictions later on in a video, just in a little bit. Now, you, gotta, you guys don't have to wait too long for me to get to that part. But one thing I also wanted to point out is this. Of course, they say delivery month is April 2024, but we know on uh instagram that we was just on it said march 2024 which is which means that it's probably like probably technically the end of march if you if the delivery month is april that's that's my hunch excuse me now what i wanted to say is let's look at this guy right we're gonna go back to instagram real quick okay so something that might be obvious to you i'm gonna get through this part pretty quick fairly quickly but the reason why we're looking at Dr. Ghetto or Jero, if you mess with the English dub, is because if you look at the release, January 2024. Now, what did it say for Yamcha? If you recall, we just looked at it. Well, not on a premium Bandai website. They said delivery month is, um, what do you call it, April. Well, on this on Instagram, what they say, release is March 2024. So, this, I'm, the reason why I'm bringing this up is to show y'all that a lot of times when it's a figure that comes out that has like an iconic scene or something or a memorable scene with another character, they're likely to release the characters in close proximity to each other. You feel me? So that's, I wanted to point that uh, point out. So, you know, you can, you guys can, you know, also contribute to your own theories in the comment section below. And we can, not to say that we don't have discussions going. So, but, so we can get like some real threads going in the comment section. So you, you guys may be able to point something out. Hey, bombastic. Hey, did you think about this? And yeah, you know, we could get like a real discussion going in the comment section. But, um, you can use that to help you figure out your own theories. Now, of course, I'm always going to post my theories. And I know you guys like to hear from my theories. But I also want to give you a chance to, you know, use the same methods that I use. Now, something else I wanted to point out. 
Okay, so now using this method, and I might go back and forth a little bit just so, like, sometimes, because sometimes I forget certain things. But what I wanted to get at is this we should have been known that this was going to be a premium Bandai exclusive. We should have, like, we already. He, can, he had to come with this hand that's going through his chest. Because Dr. Jerome didn't come with the hand that could potentially fit onto it. So that was, we should have known with that. Now, using this method of, hey, in order to be a premium Bandai exclusive, or one of the requirements, or the 100% uh, rate, or batting a thousand rate for something to be a pre premium Bandai exclusive, is we have to think, as I said earlier, what can they include with a certain figure in order to make it a premium Bandai exclusive? So this ex this ex extra accessory typically is going to belong to another figure in the line. And you know the first character that came up in mind? Hercule. Now you might be saying, what? Mr. Satan? Hercule? How? Well, some of you might have already caught on to it. But what did he do iconically in the show? He threw Android 16's head. And that's going to be why he's a premium Bandai exclusive. He threw Android 16's head. He's going to come with the Android 16 head. And you're going to be able to recreate whatever. You know, the scene of the head basically talking to Super Saiyan Gohan. Which leads me to something that I literally just thought of a few moments ago. I wanted to talk about the Mr. Satan thing first. Because originally... I'm not gonna lie, I have a video planned for this, but I was thinking that Mr. Satan was gonna be some type of event exclusive. But after seeing this, this made me think, nah, he's just gonna be some type of premium Bandai exclusive. I still have a couple guesses as to who the premium, I mean, not the premium, the event exclusive is gonna be, but you guys will have to wait for those videos. Regardless, this means that potentially, I don't think this is this will be the case just because he's just so popular and these are these are gonna be the main strongholds of the Cell Saga general releases. Perfect Cell could hypothetically be a premium Bandai release. I know it sucks, especially since we have the understanding that a lot of these characters, especially like this guy Yamcha, shouldn't be a premium Bandai exclusive. And I don't even mean in the sense that oh Yamcha sucks, nobody cares about him. It's just that off the strength, he's a mainstay in the Dragon Ball uh, lineup, your Z Fighters lineup. You know? Like when you see the, if you watch the English dub, Dragon, Dragon, Rock the Dragon. At the end of the intro, they have, you know, all the Z Fighters standing there. Standing there, and they have that uh, portrait picture, or that group picture, and Yamcha is there. None of the characters in that picture, in my opinion, should be premium Bandai exclusives. None of them. But here we are. And the reason why, going back to Perfect Cell, the reason why he would be potentially a premium Bandai exclusive, what could he come with? He could come with a myriad of accessories. Assuming that this doesn't come with Hercule, he could come with a stepped on Android 16 head. Automatically making him premium Bandai. He could come with the cr a crying face for Gohan before he, before he, you know, he goes berserk and turns Super Saiyan. Uh, Super Saiyan 2. I meant to say after he turned Super Saiyan 2, specifically. But that's how he could be a premium Bandai exclusive. Now, I hope that's not the case because Perfect Cell, like, we've been waiting on a good Perfect Cell for uh, too long now. At first, 1.0 Perfect Cell, even back in the day, that didn't really look that good to me. He looked off. And I know they can do such a much better job now. So that would just be unfortunate. Now, once again, who else could be a premium Bandai exclusive? Um, once again, you see my man Jero here, Android 20, Android 17 could be a premium Bandai exclusive. Why? He kicked Jero's head off in the, in the anime and the manga. So he could come with that spare Jero head. So Android 17 could also come with the hand that's going through the abdomen but that's not necessarily something that would make him a premium bandai that would just be a new accessory that we've never had android 17 have and then 
Once again, automatically making him a premium Bandai exclusive. Once again, the rule being, what spare piece for another character could this character come with? That's the rule that we're going to use. And that is, you know, once again, it's unfortunate that it has to be that way. Especially since, with all these premium Bandai things happening, really how it should work, pretty much none of, of the main story characters, unless it's like an alternate outfit or something, or an outfit that only appeared like in one episode, two episodes, none of these characters should be premium Bandai exclusives. Yamcha should be a general release. A lot of these characters should be general releases. Now, movie characters, I'll, I'll let them slide on that. Movie characters, they, they appear for the movie. They're not going to be nearly as popular, with the exception of maybe Broly and who else? Janemba. You know? God damn, Crow's going crazy outside. But either way, sorry about that. Um, yeah, those are the only things that kind of make sense for them to make premium Bandai exclusives. Now, like I said, characters like Broly and Janemba, more specifically Broly, could get away with being like a general release because he's just, he's a, we know, oh, we all know about Broly. Broly is the legendary Super Saiyan. He, people love him. He's so popular that he became canon. They, or, or they canonized him. But, I think I covered everything I wanted to cover in regards to this. Um, it's, once again, it sucks that he's on a 2.0 body. At least upgrade the body mode. But, oh yeah, this thing. So now that we've seen this Yamcha, we know that when this Yamcha was first ever shown off, it wasn't, of course, officially here on the Insta Tamashi page or Premium Bandai. It was at, I forgot the event it was specifically at. But we've also seen that base for Jita. That has yet to be revealed, so we'll see. That could be like a general release for 2024. Maybe. Now, I was hoping that he'd get like a body mold upgrade. It would be a nice excuse to give Vegeta a body mold upgrade. Since it's like it's been a while since we just got a plain base Vegeta. But seeing that Yamcha didn't get one. It's most likely not the case that Vegeta will get one, but hey, like I said, you never know. Tamashi is good at throwing curveballs, and you know how that goes. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching the videos. In fact, check out the last, I don't know, 10 videos. Check out the reviews, check out the other discussions. You might find something interesting that you like if you're new here. But until next time, peace out, people. We'll talk about these tomorrow, for sure.